According to Forbes magazine, 99% of toilet paper users are getting this problem wrong. Are you one of them? What is up, mathletes? So let's talk about this problem right here that's giving the internet world headaches, right? It's funny how everyone talks about how much they hate math, but they can't seem to let go of this problem. So let's dive in because I'm gonna give you a new way of looking at this problem that you've never seen before. All right, so here we go. First, when I saw this problem that my brother sent me a text and he's like, quick, I need an answer. And what I noticed, right, first glance, I was looking at this without my glasses, right? So from a distance here, I saw three blurry witches, all right? So this is how I did this at first. Hang with me, don't go nowhere, because I'm gonna give you some information you haven't seen before. All right, so I saw three witches. So I was like, all right, I see what we're doing here. So I'm gonna put three, instead of writing witches, let's just put a W. So we have three witches and it equals 45. So if you wanna use algebra, you could divide both sides by three, right? If you wanna get all fancy on me, or you could just say three times what number equals 15? Well, three times 15, or sorry, three times what number equals 45? And the number we're looking for is 15, right? So that's 15. And if you want, again, if you wanna get all fancy, you could divide both sides by three, right? That's how you do that algebraically. So each which is 15. I know, I know, some of you are saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're not, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at this without my glasses, all right? So be patient, it's coming, it's coming, I got you. Next, we saw that three brooms, right? Uno, dos, tres, that's French. Three brooms, no, nope, they're not brooms. I know what people are saying, you idiot, those aren't brooms, those are wands. So three wands, I can't say W, because I already used the W. So we'll say wands, um, shoot, we'll call it X. So three X's, a lot of you have way more X's than that. Damn! But we'll say three X's, three wands equals 21. So three times what number equals 21? Well, three times seven. But again, if you want, you could use algebra and divide both sides by three. So the number of wands that we have, each value is worth seven. So let's take a look. Each which is 15, and then each wand we said is seven. All right, and then now our, there's equation one, equation two, equation three. So now we have three brooms. Again, no glasses, all right, three brooms, so we'll say 3b for brooms equals 12. So three times what number equals 12? Well, we know b has to be four. B four, or after, I don't know. No, and again, you could divide both sides by three and you get b equals four. And now, let me write that in. So we got a four here, four there, here, four, there, four, everywhere, four, four. All right, um, so now let's plug all this in, right? So the brooms we said is worth four. The witches, the witches be 15. And then our wands that we called X are worth seven. So pay attention to the order of operations. If you wanna learn more about order of operations, click my video down below. All right, so the order of operations they say to multiply 15 times seven first. So let's make sure, so I don't make a fool of myself on YouTube, and we get 105. So first we multiply according to the operations. So we get 105, and then you add four. So after you hit enter, then add four, because some of those calculators be stupid. All right, so then we add four, and so the grand total of this right here, the grand total is 109. There is your answer, again, if you're looking at this without glasses. But some of you are taking a deeper look. Oh damn, it's 
it's about to get real it's about to get real so check this out all right same problem right same problem but now i got the lentils on right the glasses and what some of you are noticing right some of you are trying to get all mathematical on me and what you're noticing is that wait a minute johnny this witch some of you said a different word oh no he didn't but this witch has not only let me point this out not only does she have a broom but she has a wand ah. right and then some of you are saying look here johnny but dr math dr math check this out and looking at this a little deeper there's actually two brooms here oh my goodness. right so people are noticing all kinds of things online what the heck are we doing with our lives and then some of you are like wait a minute wait a minute this witch right she isn't ready to go trick-or-treating or anything and there's two wands right here all right bet you didn't see that well there's a big problem if you want to go there right if you really want to go there and you want to talk all mathematical on us all right then let me get let me get mathematical on you i've, I've been watching videos i've been seeing what people are doing I think they're speaking different languages, but I kind of see what they're doing. Can't do that, folks. So check this out. Let me ask you, how many different things are we seeing here, right? And what we do in math is we call these variables. So check this out. Let me list all the different things we see. So notice, I see a witch. So a witch I'll call, usually in math, right? These are like variables. So the witch, I'll put a W there. And let me not get all crazy with there's two wands. I can, if you want me to go there, I'll go there. But I have a witch right there. And then I have a broom, right? Let me circle a different color. I have a broom right there. So I'll put a B there, all right? And then there's a plus right between them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply them. So let me put times. And look how many wands I have. And notice I called the wands X's earlier, so I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stay with that variable. I have two wands. So I have two X, but the X, each X represents a wand. And what people are doing here, what they're wanting to do and get all crazy with is they're saying, oh, look, this witch, right? This W has a wand and so it has a wand and a broom but there's a problem here if you want to get all mathematical because what's really going on there those three are not being multiplied we don't multiply those three if you wanted to multiply them let me show you what that would look like what you would need to do is actually have a witch right times and the way we write multiplication using algebra right what we do is whatever you're looking at you need to write it right next to that variable if you want you could add in a little dot to represent multiplication i'll do it in black so you could see right and then you'd also multiply it. we said we had a wand so let's bring a wand over right this right here would tell the audience to multiply. But what we see here is that these objects are becoming part of the image. So in math, the way we think about those are like subscripts and we use different variables. So for example, here I have the variable W, right, for which here, for the broom, we call the broom B. And for the wand here, we call the wand X, right? But the way it's written right here, right? The way we laid everything out, what we really introduced is a whole new variable, right? So the variable, if you wanted, you could have called it W. And what we do in math is we have a subscript 
to let the audience know this means something totally different. So I could have called it W sub B or W sub X. And that represents a whole new number. And that's what's really going on here. And because you have too many variables and only one, two, three, four equations, right? You're gonna need something called linear algebra. You need to talk about indeterminate cases. And this problem is gonna have too many solutions, more than you could handle. So if you're listening to all that other stuff going on in those videos, nah, nah, if they're gonna make up math, they gotta be consistent. They can't just be making up stuff. They gotta do their homework, all right? So again, what we have here is we have too many variables. Let's count the number of variables we have. This itself is its own variable, so there's one. There is number two, second variable. Number three. Number four, because we said this is not the same as this. These are two totally different images. We just went over that. So we got one, two, three, four, and five, because we're trying to figure out what this equals. So you have five variables and we only have these four equations. Sorry folks, can't do it. And if you wanna start making up rules, right? That's what happens in math class all the time. I call it math magic. Stuff don't exist. All right folks, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, go show off to your friends and call them out on there, you know what? And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.